Hey everybody, it's Jimmy and Bill. Bill, today what we're talking about is wealth, okay? Hmm. So basically, the impact of wealth migration on Florida housing market. Ah, the snow globe effect. All right, I have, no, I, I have no idea what I'll that is. It. I never even heard that term before. This is the first time I'm doing it. Yeah, the snow globe. So now with the problem, you know, with everybody moving here with money, what is it doing to Florida? Like, you know when people say the old Florida and yeah. the new Florida? Like, mm -hmm. you, like, I think the old Florida is dead. And I wanted you to talk about the old Florida later on in this video. But let's go over that, what you just said, the snow globe the effect. The snow globe effect. But in the meantime, do me a favor. If you guys like it, this content, consider subscribing. It really helps out the channel. And wait till the end because I'm going to give you my opinion strongly what I think if it's a positive or negative people coming here with a lot of money and buying, you know, because basically not for nothing, but probably nine out of ten inspections I'm doing and people are coming here with a lot of money and mm -hmm. buying these <clears throat> big expensive houses. So, yeah. so tell us, what is this global thing you're talking snow about? Snow globe. Yeah. Snow globe. No, the pandemic, the snow globe effect. Basically, you know, everything's kind of settled out at the bottom when you have, you know, your snow globe. And the pandemic, because everybody could do remote work, you shook the snow globe up and then everybody just, all the little snowflakes went all over the place. And that's pretty much what's happened. Is that your term? You, you find it from somebody else or did you just that's make mine. it? That's mine. All right, so, so this is a bill. This is a, we're going to hashtag that. <laughs> snow globe. Snow globe effect, but think about it. Everything's settled. You know, everybody's got their little... Everything's in their proper place. And then the pandemic allowed people to move around and do different things. So you kind of shook up the globe, if you will. Okay, it, it, there's another long story, I won't, which I won't go into. But, you know, one of, the, one of the things is to, you know, like these people, like, even, I'm going to talk about my tax bill again because I'm so annoyed about it. But, <laughs> okay, my taxes went up and then somebody just in my neighborhood, their taxes are like 12 grand, okay? Mm -hmm. And they're like... So I talked about it, I was like, did your tax go up? I was like, yeah, but it only went up like three grand. It's like, it's no big deal, my taxes are only 12 grand. I'm like, are you crazy? It's $1,000 a month. But I'm from, I'm from New York, you know, and I was paying 25,000 a year there. Right. That annoys me. Property values went up, so the taxes went up, not to mention the whole thing that we're not gonna talk about. We're not gonna talk about it. All, I'm not gonna, gonna go gonna on the rant. You could watch the all, last video on the get, rant. You're gonna get all the, fiery again. Yeah, that's the sore subject for me. I know. So the because thing, when taxes get to a certain okay. point, <laughs> when, when taxes too, when all your, right, when your property taxes get to a certain point and your insurance is to a certain point, it's like you're renting. But you're, this God, time now you're go. renting from the county. I'll just leave it at that. Jesus, here we go. Go ahead. Okay. <laughs> I don't even know what we were talking about. <laughs> wealth, you know, all these wealthy people moving into Florida. I think you know people are like. Oh, it's great that all this money is moving into Florida, but at the same time, there might be some benefits to it, but I think there's some drawbacks to it, too. Okay. Let's talk about that. All right, because we're comparing old Florida to new Florida, per no, se. No, we're comparing what... With the wealth. The, the, the wealth, what they're right. doing. So they're, when you go back to old Florida, where it's destroying... Just, well, yeah, because yeah. it's what we... I'm a Floridian. I was born here and raised here. I've never been out of, I mean, I've been out of Florida, but you know, I've always lived and worked here in, you know, Pinellas, Pasco, the Tampa Bay area. Okay. And it's different now. You know, our wages here aren't the same as they are in California, New York, things like that. I remember as a kid, I'd go to visit my uncle in New York and I remember a movie being $12 and that just stuck in my head, you know, because the movies here were like two, $3 because it's Florida wages, right? So it, it's different because obviously it's, it's more expensive to live there, blah, blah, blah. There's various reasons. But now people from various parts of the country have moved to Florida because it was cheap and we've done videos well, on this. Well, they moved here because there's no income tax? Yeah. You know, the weather? The state, yep, the weather and- there's, there's some benefits. Of course, but now what they're buying down here, if it's overinflated, they didn't think it was overinflated because it wasn't that big of a deal to them because a like in California, um, I was working with a customer that in California goes, oh, I just kind of want to, you know, a modest size house, but you know, I, I really don't want to spend much more than eight or 900,000 on it. 
Mm -hmm. And he goes, I just need something like 12, 1300 square feet. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, oh, I don't know if I can find that <laughs> here in our area, you know, for 900,000 for 1200 square foot house. I don't, there's very few of those properties around. Oh, go to Miami. You know, well, no, I mean, in our area here, he's, okay. he's a, a buyer here, mm -hmm. local. And, but he was coming from California. So he didn't understand the difference here because, mm -hmm. you know, he's never really been here, um, you know, when it came to looking for real estate. So we talked about it, but that's where I think the issues are because our, 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 everything has gone up so much. And to some people, it's not a big deal because they were able to remote work. They were leaving their states where things were, you know, 10 times more expensive for certain items and they come here yeah, to Florida. Yeah, but don't you think all these rich people coming down here, and I have nothing against rich people, don't get me wrong, I really don't. But don't you think that they're pushing out the locals, you know? Of course. Like, in, like when I went to go visit my cousin in Miami, Fort Lauderdale, he works at an upscale restaurant. I was getting ready to bring that up, perfect, so yep. I go to the restaurant, I'm sitting there and I'm like, Nobody's coming to say, hey, what do you want to drink or eat, appetize, nothing. I'm like, I called him my cousin and I said, what's the, what's the deal? He's like, we're shorthanded. Yeah. I was like, hire more people. You got a full house here. And he's like, it's not like we don't want to hire people. It's just like we can't find people to work here, even if we pay them more money. I was like, why? He's like, nobody could afford to live around here, so they leave the area. Right. And then the commute doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. <laughs> when they can go make the exact same money at a restaurant or what have you, you know, much closer to their to their uh, home. And money coming into Florida changes. Like when I was a kid and I used to come down here to Clearwater, you know, we had those two-story hotels and the little oh, bungalows, yeah. you know, and the beach was beautiful. You know, th there was a pizza place that I, I loved that pizza place. It was just like, you know, it was, it was great. A little gyro shop, a mm -hmm. little Greek restaurant, everything. All that is gone. Now it's just big high rises oh yeah franchises <sighs> unfortunately i mean that's that's the truth i mean i went you, you know i i showed you where i went to school you know my school my elementary middle school it was a combination school was on gulf boulevard and you could see the water right because there was just houses and then pretty much nothing on the beach side i i, I did a video on, on it and it's now it's high rises over there everything's high rises when you go down the beach uh, with the exception of a few smaller areas but even those have changed dramatically over the years the days of the mom and pop are almost gone in the the pinellas county area here you know you have to go to some different places just a little bit further north but it's you know everybody's move everybody wants to move here so there's nowhere else here to be so everybody's kind of expanding out and in what about this the in wesley chapel where you live you know the the new construction inspections i just did you know they're like four thousand square foot homes you really think the average person who's making like sixty sixty three thousand dollars a year could afford those places well no because the average person just to buy your first time home i think the last stat that we did on that one yeah. video was like 114 117 thousand combined income is what you needed to get into purchasing you know a home well those, those particular homes I, at that price point yeah at those homes so i did what was it five or six new construction inspections mm -hmm. last week out of those six everyone was from out of state california jersey two from New York, Yep, and I think one was from Connecticut. Yeah. And to top it all off, all of those, they're paying cash. Yeah. Now, were they weren't younger, like just entering into the working market. Right. They were on the latter part of their working years, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Okay. So they probably sold a house that they bought at some point, so they have some wealth in it, right? because they owned a home, they bought it, they have some gains, they work somewhere else that probably pays a better wage than what we get here. You know, what, what different uh, jobs command here versus where they lived in New York and things like that, they come here. So they're retiring or they're working remote and that's, you know, you're but, not gonna but, see it in those. But, but you know what's funny is like, I was, the last inspection I was doing in new construction, there was a guy there who's putting up insulation and everything and it's like, and he's talking to me and he's like, oh yeah, I love this house. Look how beautiful it is. I was like, well, why don't you buy one of them or see it? He was like laughing at me. He's like, I will never own one of these houses. Mm -hmm. 
And I'm like, why are you saying that? He says, it doesn't even comprehend to me. He goes, I'll build them, I'll insulate them, I'll do it, but I'll never own them. And I, I think that's freaking sad. Because yeah. back in the day, before everybody, you know, money came into Florida, you know, people were able to afford more things. Florida had one of the highest inflation rates in the country. Yep. Yep. We did. It's insane. The just knowing what things went for in tar just because I grew up here and I've purchased real estate here, Tarpon Springs, Largo, Dunedin. Dunedin's insane. We used to make fun of people for moving to Dunedin. Mm -hmm. Like, why are you going there? Like, pfft. now look at it. Egg on our face, right? Because Dunedin is one of the hottest areas, Safety Harbor, where I used to live before I moved up into Pasco. Um, you know, like, I think I paid $104,000 for my, my house that's just off of Main Street when I lived there. I mean, well, we're talking in 97. Well, look at my other place, you know, in Hudson. So basically, <laughs> This guy from Jersey came in, super nice guy. I have nothing against him. But he bought like four or five lots. He built four or five houses yeah, around yeah. him. I'm not kidding you. He yep. literally built five hundred to $900,000 each house and he's airbnb and I'm good for him. But, you know, it's really difficult for the locals to even get into that neighborhood right now. And that neighborhood, when I bought, oh, yeah. it was like you couldn't give the stuff away. No, and I it remember. was, and it was waterfront. I mean, like on the water. On the water, like yeah. I'm fishing for a grouper within minutes. I I am kicking myself in the rear because I had an opportunity and I have to drive by it to go to your property, and it yeah. irks me every dang time because there was yeah. this house. Remember the there one I showed you. I think it was 30, the lot, the lot, there was a lot there for it. They said 39,000. That was only like right before the pandemic, 39, 49,000. And now that lot is what, 300, yep. 400,000? Yeah. Yeah. Thanks to all the people that have bought around you. And they're all out of staters. They're all out of staters. But I looked at that one house. It was the the one that's uh, by the ice cream place. Yeah. And I had an opportunity to buy it. I think it was like 148,000 and it was semi renovated. But it had a lift, a cover, a little patio. We're talking, you know, it was just a traditional Florida ranch. It wasn't anything spectacular, 12, 1300 square feet, but it was on the water and to the Gulf. Yeah. Like, and, and I didn't do it. And then now you can't even touch it. So the reason why I even bought in that area, again, I, I bought two of them, is because I had a boat and I didn't want to keep it in high and dry because they closed at six and I had yeah. to bring it back at a certain time. So I'm like, I don't want to do that. And it, it's a tower boat, so I wanted my own lift, my own boat ramp, my own this. That's why I bought it. But it's it's really good that I bought it yeah. back then. But it's just it's just amazing how I really really feel that the wealth coming into Florida is kind of bad in a way. Yeah, I mean people are investing in houses too. Oh yeah, you have investors like, coming down just and snatching them up. They're like whatever, and then they they rent them out, Airbnb them because it's a big Airbnb area. Even though the rules are changing a little bit and have changed a lot, but you know that takes up inventory out of our area here, um, they, which is why they've started to, you know, a lot of places put um, ownership time requirements. Bef you know, they have an HOA or a condo. Mm -hmm. They have ownership requirements, right? You know, because that staves off the investors from purchasing because they have right. to, they can't rent it out um, for the first year or two. Or I mean, what do you guys think? Up. You guys think it's good that all this money came into Florida? Do you think that the the wealthy coming in and they, yeah, they're spending money on you know on restaurants, you know, food, cars, but is Florida going to just be another New York, California kind of thing? Do you, th do you think hmm. that this wealth, you know, coming into all this money coming into Florida, you think it's doing more damage than good? Well, I think, I think it's going to, I think it's going to affect a certain group of people more than others, just like it did in the bigger cities, you know, and until our wages and everything else catches up with the other 
wealth per se, I think we're going to have some issues because it is driving up the cost of everything, mm -hmm. you know, and it affects everybody. So for instance, you know, there's a loss on a million dollar house versus a loss on a $250,000 house. You know, the cost to rebuild is, is significantly different and, but that cost is spread out, you know, just touching on the insurance thing, that's cost is spread out amongst everybody. Right. Whether right. they have the disposable income or not. So, you know, for instance, you know, we're talking like, you know, Miami and things like that, where just because, you know, we don't live close to Miami, there's a, a, a devastating hurricane that affects Florida in general, that affect, affects everybody. Yeah. Even though it didn't affect us here in Tampa Bay directly, it's going to affect us and then the same thing, you know, with supply, demand, lumber, materials, well, everything. You know, Miami and Fort Lauderdale, mostly Miami, is just, it's so expensive that, you know, people born and raised in Miami is less and less of them. They're moving away. Yeah. A lot of them moved up here, believe it or not. Right. Yeah. I mean, people have to go where they can afford to live and work for the wages because the wages aren't that much different you know, down in Miami, depending on where you're at. I'm not talking like Miami Beach, but you know, it's 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 hard because like your your uh, cousin? Yeah. Yeah, your cousin, you know, with his restaurant. But you hear that here too. You know, people are like, well, I'm not driving all the way over there for this because look at, yeah. you know, gas prices, everything else. I mean, we're gonna spit, I don't wanna spin off on a tangent there, but um, no, it hurts the more money because it doesn't affect those people that have that investment money that are just sitting on things. Yeah, a lot of these people that are coming in too, and I'm not bashing rich people, but they just don't care about certain prices, certain things. Inflation, when they go to the supermarket, you know, the cost of meat and, milk yeah. and eggs that really has no effect on that on yeah. the 50 50 dollars more for a for a small load of groceries that they purchase doesn't affect them nearly as much as it would someone else you know or, or a, a younger family getting started or a younger just a just somebody who's on a fixed income mm -hmm. you know that's you know was a you know somebody who worked for the state or what have you um you know and you're on a fixed income which is a lot of people here in florida which we've done videos on that too and they're they're leaving because they can't afford it at least not in the areas like where we're at here you know so people have to migrate out a little bit further if they're we're talking you know homes and things like that yeah like a lot of locals you yeah. know full full disclosure because some of you know already and you guys are going to comment you know yeah I, i'm from new york <laughs> you know it is a disclosure but <laughs> But I came here over 20 years ago. Yeah, well, you've been here for a really long time. So, you know, I invested in Florida when there wasn't, yeah, there was people moving here, but for retirement. Florida is not the retirement capital it used to be. No, it's, it is a retirement area, but usually it's for more wealthy. Yeah, now, the, the, yeah, Florida is for the wealthy to mm -hmm. come for, and the people that just are working here, working class people that are retiring, a lot of them are leaving and you know they're retiring outside the state right i mean even look at just orlando which is an hour and a half north uh east of us it's growing you know we used to pass orange fields and yeah, things and I like don't that on the orlando because orlando is like i just i'm not a big fan of orlando yeah it has the theme parks but you know that gets played out too and you're landlocked and it's so much traffic and it's so freaking hot it is hot in it is you get no breeze off of the Atlantic, you know, yeah. or, or, the, or Gulf, the Gulf, you know, it's just freaking hot. I don't know why anybody's moving to Orlando. I'm sorry, everybody who lives in Orlando watches this. See, now I, I'm the polar opposite, though. I like Orlando. But I don't why? like the traffic. I just, well, I enjoy the theme parks. I like Orlando. Yeah, but the theme it's parks different. get played out and it's like an hour and a half drive. Yeah, I mean, for us, we just drive there. That's why we have passes. Maybe I'm and getting we just cranky go. in my old age. You I don't are know. getting cranky in your old age. I did watch your other video the other day, which was a good video. <laughs> the construction one? The construction one. one. <laughs> but we're going to do, you and I are going to do one and we're going to put it on my channel because I'm going to go with you and then you're going to be the ben. Grinch. And then, you know, hey, I'm not being negative Scrooge people. over here. I'm just, I'm just being myself. <laughs> I'm being realistic, you know. I'm getting, this is my opinion yeah. on everything. But anyways. You're a realist. My, I'm a realist. But my opinion, like I said at the beginning of this video, is I think all this money moving into Florida is doing damage. Yeah, I mean, there, it's, it, for a Floridian, it's, it's very tough because, you know, 
living here and just watching how things have changed and how much everything has gone up and it's not just a we're not talking like inflation inflational growth i'm talking everything has just gone up astronomically and not just from the pandemic we're, this is just that just made it worse mm -hmm. it really really did it made it worse and it's very hard for floridians and people who you know lived grew up here lived here to survive here in our local areas where we're at mm -hmm. i'm not talking if you move inland a little bit or just on the outskirts of like Kissimmee and things like that um you know but eventually those areas are going to get filled up too yeah i know it's going to be ridiculous. you know like just driving to orlando you know when we go because we're getting ready to go to that conference mm -hmm. um you know that back road that we take all the little back yeah because i don't want to take four because i know we're gonna hit traffic we're gonna hit traffic it's gonna be insane and then it's just not fun to look at at least this has like farms and nice stuff to look at but eventually you know now you're starting to see you know they're prepping all those roads to go wide which means they're going to sell those off and there's going to be subdivisions yeah out. i moved here to pasco just to get away from everybody well mm -hmm. you know and then i had farmland now it's just yeah now it's just freaking one big development. Yep, I mean, I was going down memory lane. I remember East Lake High School, which is a, uh, a suburb here in, just off of Tarpon, uh, just before Palm Harbor. And there were no roads that went there. Yeah, now forget about it. Now it's, you got East Lake Boulevard and it, it, so what, it's crazy. So, to, so we don't drag this video on. Do you think the wealthy, everybody bringing this money into Florida is doing damage, yes or no? Unfortunately, yes, because of the amount okay, so of money. We're, we're actually in agreement yeah. on something. On that, yeah, because it's it's really hurting. It helps to one extent because, you know, there's gentrification of certain areas and things like that because we need space. It's not helping the tax base because they but, keep raising my property taxes. Oh, my God. <laughs> but now you go, okay, well, we're going to gentrify this area, which means kind of redevelop. But where do those people go? You know what I'm saying? Like, where know. do they go? I don't know. I, this is the problem because some developer comes in and wants to buy up all this land and do this, that, and the other. But, you know, where do they go? I have no idea. Anyways, that's today's video. Do me a favor. Consider subscribing. Just hit that subscribe button. It'll be greatly appreciated. And comment below. I do reply to all the comments. It may take me a few days, but I reply to all of them. You have anything to add? Nope. We're good. All right, we'll catch you <laughs> in the next one. All right. All right, bye. See you on the next video. Thanks. Thanks. Bye.